Hello everybody and welcome back to Dr. Ghost Games and today we're going to be taking a look at two ships that I will most likely be playing in the next arena season. So yeah, um, I hope you guys do enjoy this one. So yeah, we're going to be taking a look at two tier 3 tech tree and uh, one premium cruiser as well. Um, two cruisers uh, in general. So first uh, we're going to scroll through them. The picks are a Wacky and Carl Shrew. Um, I don't know if I'm saying that right, but these are the two cruisers that I will be playing. Destroyers, I will not be playing, but cruisers, um, I will be. Battleships, you cannot play from what I hear in this season. And uh, carriers, you cannot play um, in the second season of Arena. So you're stuck with uh, cruisers and destroyers, I believe. Um, anyway, uh, we're going to take a look at the Awaki now. Let's go to the upgrades and loadout. We have Aiming Systems Mod 0, Aiming Systems Mod 1. And uh, we also have Propulsion Mod 2. Now, the uh, commander, we have Isoroko Yamamoto. We have Norman Scott and Nikolai Kuznetsov as inspirations. We have uh, Beyond Range, Igniter, Punch Through, Fixated, and we have Fully Packed. He is a Legendary 2 and a Rank 15. Um, so, yeah. Let's take a look at the loadout now. HE shells and AP shells. They load every six seconds, so they're very quick. Um, we also have torpedoes on here. They max out about 16 to 17,000 damage. They go to 10 kilometers. Damage con, of course. Smoke screen. And then we have our uh, sonar, which is very nice. Um, this thing's basically a mini destroyer. We, all, we, of course, have the Type 9 camo. It looks very nice. Survivability, not that much. 18,000 hit points. But keep in mind, this is more of a maneuverable and a kiting and kind of just that tactical cruiser that you all know and love. Um, I'm just kind of scrolling through these pretty quick. But the artillery, it's very nice. Like I said, the guns are very quick at reloading. They're very accurate because all the builds we have on and everything gives us the accuracy bonuses. It's very nice indeed. The concealment and the maneuverability, very decent. It's not bad at all. The armor, this thing is not made of armor at all. This thing is very, uh, it's a delicate flower. Let's just say that. It does not take damage very well but uh yeah now let's go take a look over at the carl shrew now the carl shrew is um is more like a tanky kind of ship um it doesn't get sterile as much um it just you know but yeah if i would have chose of course i'd put on aiming systems to give us an extra dispersion and all that stuff and that's what i would put on we have gunther lucians here along with uh, norman scott and uh i don't know why i had him as an inspiration maybe it was i don't know we're going to switch over to, um, let's see here, um, we're probably going to put on a lot of, uh, probably Isoroko Yamamoto actually, he gives us the extra um, penetration on our AP shells, so that should be a lot more helpful, but yeah, we have uh, Gilei, we have Ingenious, we have Expose, we have Sponge, we have Acoustic Chamber, and by the book, he is a legendary 2, and he's a rank 15. So, yeah, keep that in mind. Um, take a look at the loadout and the upgrades and all that stuff. We have a HE, of course, an AP, and torpedoes. We have uh, four on each side, so keep that in mind. Um, we have damage con, of course, sonar, which is German, so it's very good. Um, we have an early adopter flag as well. Um, over on the walk, you also have the, uh, the Yahagi flag. We don't have a camo on here. We probably will eventually put that on. Survivability, it's a lot more. Um, you got about 20,000, um, artillery, we have, of course, the 152s, uh, torpedoes, we already talked about that, the AA defense, it's horrible, just like the Awaki, the maneuverability, um, it's not the best, it's very slow for a cruiser, 27 knots is very, very, very slow for a cruiser, that's, that's the one downside about the Carl, um, concealment, it's, it's, it's okay for its tier, but it's, you know, nothing special, um, the armor is actually pretty decent. Um, also, if you shoot this uh, cruiser, you're going to notice that you don't citadel it often because it has a little bit of turtle back, as you guys can see. Um, but not only that, it's just it's the, the citadel is so thin that higher caliber shells will just overpen the citadel. At range, it's a lot more easier to get citadels on it because the the longer the, the shell travels through the air, um, of course, the shell will start slowing down, it'll decrease the penetration, and it will citadel a lot more easily. Er. But the ship I'd probably be taking out mostly would be the Awaki. This ship was what I'm probably going to choose over everything else. But uh, yeah, keep that in mind. So this has been a short video for you guys. Um, but yeah, this is not much to talk about here. But yeah, these are going to be my two main picks for Arena. Um, 
that's the season's coming up. Now, if there is battleships, which I don't, which I don't think there are, um, I probably would take out the uh, the tier three Japanese battleship, the Ishizuki. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. And there's my two arena picks for this upcoming season. And uh, yeah, let's so take a look at the Awaki again. This would be my main pick. And uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Don't forget to smash a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and all that stuff. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Stay healthy.